What's up crew and welcome to today's vlog. Today we are working on the... That's right, the Duramax. I'm looking forward to it. Today is a beautiful day. I want to take advantage of it. It's been super cold, super wet. Before I start working on the Duramax, I just want to say that I am loving this new comment thing because I'm seeing more of what you guys actually think. And I like doing the things that you guys suggest. And it really shows your guys' support. But besides that, I want to find all the parts that I need, all the tools that I need right off the bat because as soon as I take this truck apart, I can't run to the part store again. Like I, I can borrow a vehicle, but what's the fun in that? I want to challenge. I want to be like, okay, I need this, 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 and that. And then that challenges my mind and my my knowledge of what my truck actually is and what's wrong with it. And on top of that, I want to know exactly what tools I need so I'm not making 15 trips. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I've already taken this truck apart. I've already put parts back onto it. As you guys know, I didn't completely finish the job because uh, the part store down south in Florida, they didn't have everything I needed. Uh, now I believe I have everything I needed, I hope. Fingers crossed. But I'm just trying to remember every tool. That was close. That was a really close one. I don't have my welder in the bottom, so it's easy for this thing to tip over. Like this drawer alone probably weighs about 50 pounds. Okay, let's put that in. Are you freaking kidding me? Check this out. Look at the rotor. Cracked. All throughout here, it's cracked. There's a chunk freaking missing out of that. Look at that mess. Either this thing's defective, or somebody sold me the wrong part, but I'm leaning more towards that this was the wrong rotor. Have you seen this thing? So what I would really like to get accomplished here is get this entire job done within an hour. This is the only vehicle I've ever worked on that I've been able to put the caliper somewhere without damaging the uh, brake line. Just set that right up on your leaf springs. Look, like, this is freaking nuts. This is my, this is a piece of my rotor. That's a piece of the rotor. It's important to buy the right parts, I guess. So I'm going to remove this entire hub now. The reason being is I want to replace seven of these studs. As you guys know, I already replaced one of them. Didn't bring a hammer out. I think that's the only tool I forgot. Because once I pull the axle out, then what I'll do is I'll just take this whole hub assembly in my garage and start working on it in there. So as you guys are aware, I already used this screwdriver down south. I think it's like 98 or 97 cents to buy a new one. Um, I actually used it to put in the nut that's inside here and I didn't even damage it. I'll use her again. Big boy axle. Big boy axle, yeah! I'm replacing the studs anyways. So not only am I banging the studs to be able to pull the studs out easier, but I'm also vibrating the hub so that it'll fall off the axle assembly easier. So don't ask me how, but somehow I lost like an arm for the parking brake. Like there's supposed to be something that goes through this little boot right here and hooks up to this cable. I don't know how, but that got ripped out. Like that's behind and up top. The wheel was only dragging down here. Well, I only had this shoe, so maybe this shoe pulled it out. But luckily the truck has two sides. So if we see what's happening on this side, we can copy that over there. Big truck problems. It is not gonna fit. I'm replacing everyone except for the one that's got a square head. That one's bent. A couple of them are bent. Woo! 
So I got the parking brake assembly on, I have the hub on, I have the hub nut on. Now I have to torque the hub nut to 52 pounds, back it off, and then hand tighten it. And then put the rotor on, adjust the parking brake, change out these brake pads. I've already tested the parking brake, I like where it's at. Now all I have to do is replace my pads, and then put my axle back in, and then seal her up. Oh yeah, and add uh, diff fluid. I can finally remove all my tires out of the back of my truck. This will give me better MPGs. And I'll be able to throw a whole bunch of crap back here. Some people call them treasures. Oh, blue like the Duramax, woohoo! Yeah, I guess um. And there they go. Well, you guys, I'm happy to say that I have completed the job other than putting the tire on and retorquing the lugs. 3D machines. Mr. Max? My mom forgot me this time. She forgot you? Yep. She left without you? Yep. She's a busy woman, though, right, Max? I guess. You left your kid here! What happens when you get old? Yeah? Max just got picked up. His mom says you get when you get old you forget stuff. You don't say. And then I'm going to use one of your guys' tips. Duramax is running. I'm about to go to the part store. Thank you, Cole. Yeah, take it easy. Yep, I'll be back. I'm going to return my torque wrench that I rented because as you guys know, I just have a Harbor Freight Special and I'm not using that thing anymore. I want to get a nice one. But I'm looking forward to not hearing any noises. It is so freaking nice out. I have my window down. It's January in New York State. It's awesome. I love it. It made it great repairing my truck. Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't get it done in an hour. Not not too hard to expect when we have to, you know, buy new tools and stuff. I got all the parts back, I got some money back. Ryan at the parts store took care of me. Awesome guy, thank you very much. Now it's time to go home and open up some fan mail. I'm excited for some fan mail. I was excited about the Duramax, man. We're just checking things off the old 3D machines list. Fan mail. Thank you. It looks like uh, a lot of people want me to get a two-stroke dirt bike. And I think that's what we're gonna, going to do, you guys. I think that's what we're going to get at 500,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to see that happen quicker, then go ahead and share, you know, 3D machines with uh, Home Skillet. Okay, well, there's no note. But thanks again. Since we've come up with this, a lot of people said this. And there was a lot of things that I wanted to do at 500,000 subscribers. And you guys had a lot of good ideas. Saying that... What do you guys want to see me get? Do you guys want to see me get a KTM, a Kawasaki, a Suzuki, a Honda? Leave it in the comment section below. Let's have a vote. Are you freaking kidding me? No note. Well, if, if you sent this to me, let me know in the comment section. It's crazy that two people thought like this, like within a week. Then that's a, this is a drain pan. So you like drain your oil when it's on here. Booyah, oil, spill it out.
perfect. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Thank you very much, whoever sent this. It's braptastic. Uh oh. I, if I think I know what this is, then uh, somebody might be a little bit late or disappointed. You guys, see, this is what I'm talking about. We have a we have a family here, believe it or not. We, but we all think so similarly. I received this one, and now I received this one. The only difference is this one has a cassette player. And this one has a CD player, but then this one has a CD player too. No way! But this this is the original one, and this one isn't. I'm really sorry this happened, but I will give you the recognition that you deserve. I'm just disappointed that I couldn't... Con Maybe we can slap it in the BMW. Dear 3D Machines, just wanted to take the time and tell you my boys Hayden and Gavin are big fans. We look forward to your adventures on a daily basis. Thank you guys a lot. I know how frustrating it is not having a radio. You're, you're complete, you. Radio? <laughs> Who needs a radio? Ready, Harry? Everybody understands that one. Hunter, Hayden, and Gavin. And then he says, P.S. If you decide to go with an aftermarket one, I'm sending you the kit. So, I really appreciate the thought. Maybe we can come up with something like this. Everybody, keep this in mind. We have this on the shelf. Thank you guys a lot, though. Thank you. Okay, we'll do two more. I know you guys want to say, oh my goodness. You know, I've read a lot of comments that say that it's really irritating for them to see that one piece missing out of the BMW grill. And um, either somebody got really annoyed and bought this for me, or somebody just likes the BMW project and bought this for me. I'm sure they just wanted to be nice because haters usually don't do anything for me. And that's okay. They can go live a miserable life. Thank you, though. Thank you. Thank you. That does look pretty sexy. There's a letter! <laughs> I do need one of these. This goes to the back of the truck, my, my Duramax. You guys know me so well. It's so amazing. We think the same, we do the same, and, and we all bring it together here at 3D Machines. It's awesome. Uh, hey, Dalton, this is Joe Delari. If I mispronounce your name, I'm very sorry. I watch your videos every day. Thank you very much, Joe. You helped me get through my first semester of college. Congratulations. Don't drop out. School is good. I noticed that your Dirty Max was missing the tailgate latch cover. It is, you are right. I figured this late Christmas present would be awesome. I'd be so happy if you showed this in a video. Stay froggy fresh from the crew. Thank you very much, Joe. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to write your name on here so that when I do install it, we can give credit to you again. Yeah! Large magnet tray. You know what, I have, a, I have a couple small ones, but they all have like a whole bunch of crap on them right now, like all miscellaneous stuff. And this will work awesome for when I'm working on the old BMW or the Duramax. I could have used this today, actually. Awesome. Happy New Year, I hope you had a great holiday. I did. I hope this tray will keep your nuts, bolts, and tools close at hand. Jake, trier wheeler, maybe? Jake T, you guys have very uh, unique last names. That's good. Well, thank you very much, Jake. Jake, not the toilet snake, but I do appreciate it. It works good. Mr. Jake T. Thank you, Jake. That's, that's all for mail time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did.